Hi, Brian Jackson with IT World Canada here at Technicity. Our day is just wrapping up and from the city with me is Jennifer Keysman, the Chief Planner for the City of Toronto. Welcome. It's great to be here. I thought you had a really interesting panel at the end there and you really delved into a, a couple of interesting issues talking about transit and housing. So not always things that we connect with technology, but of course when it comes to transportation, uh, we need a lot of technology to help us move around a city, especially considering how many people are taking rides now. So do you want to just tell us about the situation with the TTC now as, as you sort of charted it out on the panel there? Well, sure. It's funny because, um, of course, transit and housing are two of the most critical issues that we face in the city, and it behooves us to ask the question, how in fact can technology help us alleviate some of the challenges that we see? And we know, for example, that the technology around automatic train control has existed for some time, and we are in the process of updating the TTC to allow for automatic train control. But I think one of the things that we tend to underestimate is the amount of leverage we actually get from that investment. Automatic train control, in fact, results in about a 25% increase in capacity on the Young Line, which is currently over capacity. So, you know, you can build another subway or build all kinds of infrastructure all over the place, or you can enhance the technology and deliver a much higher level of service to an area where there already is a significant amount of demand. So there's a real opportunity to invest, and it's you know, a pretty small investment in the big scheme of things, to invest in technology that allows us to deliver a much, much better service. And a couple of the times on that panel, it sounded like you were worried about uh, the political factors getting in the way of achieving that sort of service delivery. For example, it costs money to upgrade this uh, this technology and people don't often want to pay a lot of more tax to get that. So how do you overcome challenges like that? Well, one of the catch-22s is that we really need to do a good job communicating the benefits. So that is very clear. People can draw a straight line between the taxes they pay, the money that's invested, and what the outcome is. And if we don't draw that straight line, then it's really difficult to get the investment that you need up front. Because at the end of the day, there's money that's required in order to drive these capital investments forward. So from my perspective, the onus is really on us as public service in the municipal sector to ensure that we're drawing that line and making the connection so that we can best leverage the existing infrastructure that we have in order to deliver the services that are required for a livable, sustainable, but also equitable city because this is about ensuring that people all over the city have access to great transit. And while we don't have automated trains that are taking us around the city yet, you're, you were detailing uh, a lot of the ways that we have made progress as city. So tell us about that again. Well, there's a lot of different ways that we're investing in infrastructure today, and there's a real opportunity if we look out into the future. You know, we've significantly improved Union Station over the course of the past decade. Uh, we've built out Queen's Quay. We are building out the Eglinton Crosstown. Union Pearson Express is up and running and functional. So there are new transit investments that have been made, but at the end of the day, there are going to need to be new solutions in the 21st century that rely more on technology, more on adaptation, more on what I would call small scaled solutions. You know, can we use technology to put a shuttle system in place whereby when you have a smaller number of people moving in a certain area, they can actually use the technology to link into the shuttle service to get them to, from point A to point B. You know, a lot of these technologies already exist. It's just a matter of integrating them into our public transit system in such a way that we're providing more more choice in terms of how people can move around the city. Great, Jennifer. I thought that was a great panel to end off Technicity with. And once again, if you're interested in more videos, there's lots on the website, so check those out. For IT World Canada, I'm Brian Jackson.